Hello everyone. I am Priya and today we will discuss Maths Chapter 1 Numbers and Number Names Part 2 of Class 3rd. In Part 2 we will cover the following topics. Successor of a number, predecessor of a number, consecutive number, skipped counting, comparison of a number, ascending or descending order, formation of smallest and greatest number. Let's begin with our first topic, successor of a number. The number which comes just after a given number is called its successor which means when we add one to a number we get its successor in example when we add one to 45 we get 46 so 46 is the successor of 45 next predecessor of a number the number which comes just before a given number is called its predecessor. For example, when we subtract 1 from 45, we get 44. So, 44 is the predecessor of 45. Next topic is consecutive numbers. Consecutive number are numbers that follow each other in order without gaps from smallest to largest. In example 1, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 and so on follow each other in order. In example 2, numbers 203, 206, 209, 212, 215 and so on are in fixed order having a difference of 3 between them. Next topic is skip counting. When we write some numbers with a fixed gap between every two consecutive numbers then this pattern of numbers is called skip counting. For example, skip counting by 2. When we add 2 in 12, we get 14. Plus 2, we get 16. Plus 2, we get 18. Plus 2, we get 20. Another example of skip counting by 50. 100 plus 50 is 150, plus 50 is 200, plus 50 is 250, plus 50 is 300. Now, comparison of numbers. There are two rules to compare numbers. In previous class, we have learned that. Rule 1. A number having more digits is greater than the number having less digits. For example, 16 has two digits and 9 is single digit. So, 16 is greater than 9. Rule 2. If the two given numbers have the same number of digits, then we compare the digits on the extreme left and decide. If the digits on the extreme left are equal, we keep on comparing the next digits on the right. So here, in this example, 211 is greater than 201. Next is ascending order. Ascending order means from smaller to greater. It means the smallest number will come first in a row. For example, number 213, 230, 245, 277, 291 are arranged in ascending order. Descending order. Descending order means from greater to smaller. 
which means the greater number will come first in a row. For example, number 291, 277, 245, 230, 213 are arranged in descending order. Our last topic is formation of smallest and greatest numbers. In this topic, we will learn how to form smallest and greatest number of three digit by using 6, 7, 2. Smallest number is formed by placing the given digits in ascending order. So, we will place 2 at hundreds, 6 at tens and 7 at ones. So, smallest number formed is 267. Greatest number is formed by placing the given digits in descending order. So, we will place 7 at hundreds, 6 at tens, 2 at ones. Greatest number formed here is 762. Now, here we will use four digits 3, 0, 5, 7 to form smallest and greatest number. First, we will form smallest number. We will place 3 at thousands, 0 at hundred, 5 at tens, and 7 at once. So, smallest number formed is 3057. Remember one thing, 0 will have no meaning. So, it should not be placed first. Now, to form greatest number, we will place 7 at 1000, 5 at 100, 3 at tens, 0 at once. So, greatest number formed is 7530. So, students, I have covered all the topics of chapter 1. Please go through both videos again and revise. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.